I'm gonna tell you how I make my money from YouTube and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so a lot of people are getting caught up about the ad system on YouTube, about you know when is YouTube gonna allow me to monetize and things like that. Well, there are a lot of other ways that you can make a lot more money on YouTube, and I'm gonna talk to you about how I do that. And don't get me wrong, ads can definitely add up, super chats can definitely add up, but what I'm saying is that there are other things that you can do that can end up being a lot more lucrative for you. As an example, on my channel at the time of this recording, I make somewhere between $1,500 and $2,800 from Google. So I get a check in my bank from what happens here on my YouTube channel that counts ads and that counts super chats. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that that is a tiny amount of money. What I'm saying is that you have to have a decent amount of views in order to get that kind of money from your ad revenue. So if you're not getting a lot of views, then of course you're not gonna get that much money. And even though the money that you would get from ads might supplement some other things and things like that, there's other ways that you can make more money from what it is that you're already doing. So that the ad money is a bonus instead of it being something that you're solely dependent on. So I'm gonna tell you about the things that I do around my channel that currently brings me income that is not related to AdSense or Super Chat. Okay, so the very first thing on this list in no particular order is tubertools.com. That's my website to where basically when I made that, I knew that I'm making videos for content creators, so I needed to make an asset to where I could take the traffic that was coming to my YouTube channel and I could transfer some of that traffic to my website to where I would be able to monetize in another way outside of AdSense. Now, what happened with that is first, I just had a front end store and I offered some services off of it. Currently, I have services coming off of it in terms of design services for branding packages and things like that. I also have the store and I have a membership area where people can pay a monthly fee or a yearly fee or a lifetime. And with that, then they get access to everything in the store plus more stuff. Now, without this becoming an ad for Tuber Tools, basically the idea behind this was, like I said, you know, I, I have video creators watching my content, so it makes sense for me to take those people and say, hey, I have this particular thing for you. If it's something that you're interested in, go check it out. And then people can make the purchases there or they can join the membership site or whatever, whatever their choice is. And I make income from that. Number two on this list is services. You may or may not know that I do consulting for YouTube. I also do in-depth channel evaluations. Now, those are in no way anything even close to what I do on my Saturday live streams. It's actually where I go into the back end and I actually see what's working and what's not working. And I give tips based on the actual analytics data in addition to to what I see is going on in the actual video content, the presentation, the flow of the video, the structure and all that stuff. But anyway, without this being an ad for those services, so if you are interested in something like that, uh, definitely get in touch through the email in the description. Number three is affiliate marketing. Now you always hear content creators talking about affiliate marketing and I can tell you that affiliate marketing definitely works. You just have to find the right companies to work with and the right stuff for your audience so that you have that perfect fit, right? Because like as an example, like if I have a link that I send you to and it's an awesome tool or an awesome resource for you, then you get the benefit of that tool or that resource. The company gets the benefit of having you as a customer. And then I get a commission for that by being the person in the middle that connected the two of you together. And as long as you keep that pure and the things that you're promoting are of value to the people that are watching your content, affiliate marketing can actually pay off really big for you. Number four is sponsorships. Basically how that works is companies pay me every month in order to put their stuff in front of you, be it logos, making videos about them, things like that. Basically they give me the money in exchange for continually promoting them here on my channel. Number five on this list is content partners. Basically what a content partner is, is it's somebody that pays me to make content for them. And basically how that works out is they pay me a fee to create content for them, for their channels or for their websites or for anything else that they happen to be putting together. And if it wasn't for my YouTube channel and then being able to see what it is that I do and the type of content that I put out and, and all of that stuff, then none of those deals would be able to take place. So all of this, everything on the list so far, all of this stems from what it is that I do here on my YouTube channel. Next up on the list is is Patreon. Now, Patreon is a crowdfunding platform. If you are not familiar with Patreon, I'll put a link to that down in the description below. I'll also put a link to my Patreon down in the description below if you wanna help me help other creators. Now, I don't make a lot from Patreon because it's not something that I actively promote. I think this video right here and maybe one other video, I've mentioned it. And then besides that, I just put a link in my description. So it's a very, very passive thing way down in my description. So most people don't even know that I have it. But with my Patreon account, it is something that I have and something that does generate 
generate an additional, just a little bit of additional income. Next is email marketing. So at the end of all of my videos, you're gonna see an end screen. And on that end screen, I have a link to my VIP area. When somebody signs up for my VIP area, then that puts them into my email list. And then from time to time, I send out value emails, which is basically just informational stuff. Um, and then I also send out emails about promotions that I know about or things that would be a good fit for my audience. And you can kind of tie this back into affiliate marketing because when I do send out those promotional emails, then those are basically affiliate marketing emails. And even though it is affiliate marketing, it's done in a completely different way because that's its own asset within itself. The email list, it's its own asset that generates income by itself. Number eight on the list is merchandise. So this is another one I don't make a lot with merchandise, but I do make sales from time to time to where, you know, it's again, it's kind of like Patreon to where, you know, it's a little bit extra here, a little bit extra there, but it doesn't add up to a lot by itself, but that other little bit adds into the whole pie. Oh, and you can join the Niminati down in the description below. Two other ways to monetize that I'm currently working on is a physical product. I actually have that in the works, something that I'm putting together that's gonna help content creators as well. And of course, an actual training course. It's gonna take people through the process of starting a channel all the way through generating real momentum and getting real results on what it is that you're doing here on YouTube in an organized and easy to understand way. Both of those will also be coming your way very soon. Now, what I want you to think about is I just gave you eight different ways that I currently make money on my channel, two additional ways that I'm working on right now in addition to AdSense and Super Chat. So what I want you to think about is I want you to think about the different ways that you can make money around your channel as a pie. Right now, let's say that you're just doing affiliate marketing and ads. Right there, you have two pieces of the pie and they might add up to a lot depending on your view count or they might add up to just a little bit. But the more things that you can add to that pie, the more things that you can create around your channel, the more assets that you can create and offer from what it is that you're currently doing, the better off that you're gonna do. And here's the thing, cameras cost money, you know, internet costs money, computers to edit cost money, all of this stuff, it costs money. So it's important that if you wanna be able to do this full time and you wanna be able to, at the very least, if you don't wanna do it full time, but you wanna be able to, at the very least, finance your hobby, then it's really important that you put some of this stuff into place and you might be surprised, you might end up with a business out of it. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.